Today we're taking a look at these two solar panels. You've got the MH Powwows, I think that's how you say that, and the Anchor. Both of these are rated right around the 100 watt range. And to test these units out, we're going to use the Anchor Solix C200. And this is the AC model. So you have plugs and also have the Jackery Explorer 2000 Plus. Now, both of these are fantastic units as well. And this one is for much smaller emergency power. I keep this in my truck. And this one I actually take on job sites and we use it as a solar generator. So we can power our entire job site so we don't ever have to put up a temp power pole. And we don't have to use any gas. The reason I'm using both of these to test this is because they have different solar inputs. This one uses this style connector and the Jackery uses this round connector but it also has two inputs so we can put these side by side and see them simultaneously. Before we get into that and even send power anywhere let's look at the construction of them. We'll start with the MH Powwows. Now this one comes in at a much lower price point. It's in the close to a dollar per watt range, while the anchors are around $2 per watt. So roughly 100, roughly 200. One thing I really love about the MH Powwows is the zipper storage, which also has a nice lining to keep it more waterproof, water resistant. But this keeps all your cables in here and huge bonus points for this. So you've got your typical uh, PV connectors here. You attach your adapter and it has everything on it. So this will work with the Jackery or the anchor plug and a lot of other different stuff. So really, really cool. And I like that it's in a nice zippered pouch so stuff isn't dangling. Now you do have a nice carry handle, it Velcros together. Now let's open it up and you come around to the back side. You have a Velcro kickstand. So it's only adjustable by stretchy straps. It's kind of like a bungee cord material, but works really good. You can see here it's stood up. We got one on each side, and you do get a good, decent amount of adjustment with that. So there is the MH Powwows. Now, a complaint I would have first off is the cable length. This is not very long, it's maybe six to eight feet, something like that. We are hooked in here to the Anchor unit pulling in 60 watts right now. now. Let's adjust the solar panel and see if that changes. Now laying flat, you're getting 58 watts. Now I have it propped about half of what the stand allows you to go to, sitting at 61 watts. And now back at the full stand tilt, 57 watts. So looks like we're gonna get around 60 watts out of this. Now let's take a closer look at the anchor. And you can see off the bat, one of my favorite features from the other one, this does not have any kind of cable management really. You can stick it behind the stand, space it out a little, and that will button down there, but not as good. If they did some kind of zipper pouch, I think that would be amazing. Now, next up, looking at the cables, these are much, much longer than the other one. Now, you can easily get or make extensions for the other one, and at the price point, definitely not mad at it. And you can see the anchor comes with, obviously, one that runs with the anchor. Now, on the anchor panel, it is much more adjustable. To adjust it, you just unbutton that, pull it down to where you want it to be able to lay down to, and that changes how far out the kickstand comes. 
let's get it set up and see what kind of wattage we get. So we have it on the first button depth. So if you tighten that up, it makes it stand up taller. So let's see what we've got in each position. And you can see the cord length, much more comfortable distance. And right off, we're pulling 68 watts. And I do have this set in the same exact spot the other one was in. And I did just find a quality control issue on the anchor. I just went to unsnap this and it broke off. So it's not adjustable anymore other than standing it up. It's not gonna lock in. Right, that one did not break. There we go. So I guess we'll just guess based on the height. We'll tighten it to it, see if it'll stand there. And we're at 61 watts. 60 watts, so about the same as our other one. All right, we laid it down a little bit further and that is getting us 70 watts. So we're sitting at pretty close to the same wattage. Now that I've dropped the percentage on my Jackery unit thumb, let's plug both in at the same time and see what we get. Correction on the anchor. It does not work in the Jackery unit. This end has a smaller pin in the barrel and that does not fit it. So what we'll do to test these side by side is I'll run the anchor into the anchor power supply and I will run the MH powwows into the Jackery. In the anchor, we're putting out 132 watts, bringing in 63. In the Jackery, bringing in 59 while outputting 46. So both of these do have pass through charging. I laid the anchor unit back just a little bit further and it looks like it upped our wattage to 66. And with this one, I can't lean it back as far. I, I do wish they'd make that a little uh, further where you could lay it back because it seems like the angle might be a little too high but that put us up to 64 watts. So that's, I'm gonna say they get basically right at the same wattage. Well, that's it. It looks like, to me, this may be the better value since they're putting out almost the same wattage. Um, now we're gonna find out how well Anchor's warranty works and see if we can get that button on the back fixed. It's nothing tragic, but still like to have a nice panel, especially for the premium price point. And if you're interested in either these panels or either one of these, we'll have everything linked in YouTube shopping and in the description down below. Now we did reach out to MH Powwows and they gave us an exclusive discount code that you can use. Uh, use the link in the description and go to their website and we will get a small commission off that, help support the channel, but use the code GIFT, G-I-F-T, and that will get you 10% off. See you in the next one.